Hello my lovelies! I see so many people in my comment section who are new to BL and Yaoi and want to know where to start and what BLs should they watch as a beginner. So I thought of compiling a list of 12 BLs that are perfect for beginners who are just starting out and slowly getting into the BL genre. I have tried to include all major countries producing BLs right now as well as some basic subgenres that are typically seen in BL and Yaoi. So with that said, let's start with the first one. All hail the king of BL. Addicted was the first ever BL drama I ever saw and I have never gone back since. I have no words to describe what this drama did to me. I was leisurely scrolling through wiki when this drama popped up and I started watching it on a whim. Boy oh boy was I shocked to see such strong chemistry between two men. I finished this drama in a day and was left wanting more because unfortunately this drama was banned in China before it could finish airing, so it's not complete. But if you miss this drama, I won't call you a true BL fan. You might like it or hate it, but you can't not watch it. Go ahead and watch this first because your mind will be blown after watching this and you will start questioning yourself. Why am I into watching two guys together on screen? Why do I feel tuck 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 in my stomach when they get close together? Why is there so many feelings involved? Why am I crying watching this? Yeah, go watch it. Cherry Magic is what we call a soft BL in Yaoi terms. Cherry Magic has wonderful romance, fluff and a feel-good storyline that is light-hearted enough for beginners who want to dip their toes in BL. While still a virgin at 30, office worker Adachi gains a magical power that allows him to read people's minds by touching them. At first, Adachi is burdened by this sudden ability to read people's minds, but his world changes when he gets to know that his co-worker, handsome Kurosawa, is in love with him and every action he does conveys his forthright feelings for Adachi. A Tale of Thousand Stars is a perfect drama for beginners because the romance is not in your face. It's subtle enough to keep you hooked but also focus on other aspects of the story. Tian and Pufa's story is very similar to what a heteronormative love story looks like, so it won't be a shock for you when you switch from hetero romance to homo romance. The storytelling and cinematography are beautiful and in the end you will find yourself yearning for their on-screen kiss and scream when it finally happens. After a volunteer teacher dies in a tragic accident, her heart is transplanted into Tian. He learns about his donor's life through a series of diary entries and included is a promise to count a thousand stars with Chief Forest Officer Pufa. Tian decides to follow in her footsteps and fulfill her promise. Now a new teacher himself, Tian attempts to befriend Pufa who initially gives him the cold shoulder. As the two slowly grow closer, Tian notices his new heart beats quickly whenever he is near the Chief Pufa. Bad Buddy is a modern BL that breaks many BL stereotypes and is great for beginners because it sets the standard for BLs all over the world and makes a beginner stay in the genre and show interest in more BLs after watching Bad Buddy. This BL is a blend of perfect chemistry, healthy relationship dynamic and a light-hearted yet dramatic storyline. Ever since they were young, Pran and Pat's families had a deep and raging rivalry, trying to one-up each other on everything. This also extended towards their sons, Pat and Pran. They tried fighting each other but ultimately they grew tired of this rivalry and decided to be friends. And eventually something more. Game Boys is a BL series that I can guarantee you will watch in one sitting because it's so addicting that you won't be able to stop once you start watching it. It's cheesy and corny but in a good way. In a way that the flirting between the two main characters will transcend the bounds of the TV screen and reflect on the redness of your cheeks. The relationship between Caro and Gavriel is such a breath of fresh air that if you're tired of watching the same old K-dramas and C-dramas, it will bring you out of that funk and you will totally feel refreshed. Teenage streamer Caro is caught off guard when he receives a video call from a new online rival called Gavriel. He is even more surprised when the handsome stranger asks him out. Can two gamers make romance work during a pandemic or will it be game over for their love story? I would be doing a huge crime against humanity if I didn't recommend I Told Sunset About You to beginners in BL. 
It's because I Told Sunset About You has become a cult classic similar to Pulp Fiction in Hollywood or Boys Over Flowers in K-drama world. This series is the embodiment of a classic amalgamation of BL and LGBT content much like Call Me By Your Name. This BL will make you feel every emotion in the book and you might even end up making this BL your most favorite show in the world. They and OU are two estranged best friends that reunite in adulthood in a Chinese language class. Tension rises between the two as old competitive spirit resurfaces, but the tension quickly turns into complex and unstable feelings. Light On Me is a Korean BL that is very much similar to a typical high school K-drama but with male leads. This drama is a love triangle done right. You fall in love with all three leads and end up being undecided about who the MC will choose till the end because you love both MLs. I love the journey of self-acceptance that each character goes through in the series and ending is both satisfying and undeniable. Taekyung, a high school student, has been a loner all his life. He no longer wishes to be alone and would like to make some friends in his last year of school. The teacher recommends him to join the school council where he meets two boys, Shin Woo and Daon, who both fall for Taekyung's quirks. Kaita Hatsukoi is a perfect soft BL for beginners because you fall in love with both the ML and MC and root for their relationship until the end. This BL is full of fluff and sugar. It will give you butterflies in your stomach and you will feel like jumping into the screen and pull Aoki's cheeks really hard because he's so damn adorable. This BL won't put a lot of pressure on your mind. It will be a very light and enjoyable watch so if you are a beginner in BL then you should definitely go for this one. Aoki has a crush on a girl called Hashimoto. She sits right next to him in class. But he despairs when he borrows her eraser and sees she's written the name of another boy, Ida, on it. To make matters more confusing, Ida sees Aoki holding that very eraser and thinks Aoki has a crush on him. You want to get into Thai BLs? This BL should be your first stepping stone before your deep dive in the sea of Thai BLs. It will give you a taste of what a typical Thai BL is. Entertaining, cringy, emotional roller coaster, fluffy, dramatic, and problematic, all in one. I personally loved A and Pete's relationship. It was pure and innocent and felt so natural. You will see a lot of Thai BLs, so make sure to watch this because a lot of BL fans keep referencing this classic and you don't want to sound a newbie in front of them. Pete is a handsome and rich university student who is incredibly timid. His shyness stems from his trying to hide that he is gay. One day, Pete gets hit by a boy on a bike. The kind-hearted boy named A apologizes and helps him up. In the past, those whom Pete trusted often used him for his wealth. A now steps in so Pete won't be taken advantage of by his enemies. Over time, A looks out for Pete and protects him from the world. Somewhere between their intense closeness and shared soft touches, A develops feelings for Pete that go beyond friendship. The Untamed is not your typical BL, as in there is no apparent romance between the two main leads in this series. But I still included this drama for beginners because it will give you a taste of the bromance genre in BL. You will enjoy this drama for the story, the action, the emotions and all throughout the series the undying eternal love between the ML and the MC. Be careful though because after watching this drama you might end up wanting to read the novel, the manhwa as well as the donghua. And just like that your world will revolve around Wei Wuxian and La Wangji. You will still not be satisfied and start googling the actors Wang Yibo and Xiao Zhan. You will watch their behind the scene interactions and will truly end up believing that they are in love in real life too and start shipping them like crazy and join their 4 million and counting shipping fandom Yi Jan. So yeah, be careful. To My Star is one of the best Korean BLs I have ever seen. If anyone asks me which Korean BL I would recommend watching the most, I always say To My Star because it invokes certain emotions in you that are hard to explain. The MC and ML both have opposite personalities so their interactions are extra electric and exhilarating. The story is gripping and you will fall in love with their relationship and how they complete each other and fill each other's void. Actor Kang Soo Joon was once South Korea's biggest and most popular stars. 
but his career is now in decline. Despite his fall in popularity, he believes he has had a change of fortune when he meets and falls for a dashing young chef named Han Ji Woo. Despite having wildly different personalities, the two enter a relationship. However, their love comes under threat when the more conservative Han Ji Woo and the free-spirited Kang So Joon realize that their outlooks on life, love and everything else appears irrevocably different. I had to include We Best Love number 1 for you in this list for my love for Sam Yu. Number 1 for you has one of the best portrayals of electrifying chemistry among two main leads. They make a simple and common storyline unique, interesting and charming with their chemistry and acting. Not to mention they are super good looking and if you are after some eye candy then this is the BL for you. Once you see this BL you will automatically watch season 2 and will wait for season 3 like a farmer waiting for rain. Zhou Shui stared at the class report and saw Ga Shidei's name above him again. He didn't understand. He had always ranked second ever since Gao Shidei came into his life. For this reason, he was excited to go to college and part ways with Gao Shidei. He hoped to never see him again. In college, he joined the swimming club and was revered by everyone. He was happily enjoying college life until Gao Shidei suddenly appeared at the swimming competition during their senior year. This made him wonder why Gao Shidei always followed him wherever he went. But little did he know that Gaoshi they had eyes for him and would never let him go. So these were 12 PLs that in my opinion are perfect to watch for beginners. I know many of my subscribers have already seen these PLs maybe even twice or thrice. Even so, excuse me for this video but I hope you found it entertaining nonetheless. If you are a beginner and found this video helpful, leave a comment for me in the comment box below. And for my usual Fujoshis and Fandashis, leave your beginner recommendations in the comments as well to welcome our newbies to the BL world. Also, as always, if you like this video, subscribe, share and give me a thumbs up and I will see you all in my next one. Bye!